Robert at Scott Leroy Marketing. Today we're going to cover how to read your new MyKW Setup Complete email once we're finished with your setup process at uh, Scott Leroy Marketing. You're going to receive an email from support at scottleroymarketing.com to the personal email that you indicated on your setup questionnaire. This is the only reason we're going to use that personal email. We don't send you any kind of spam or anything. It's just to get you all of your setup information. The subject is going to say MyKW Setup Complete and then it'll have your name and depending on your email interface it may look a little bit different the arrangement here. We use Gmail here and this is what it's going to look like in Gmail. When I open this up, um, we've got our MyKW Setup Complete email here. This has a whole bunch of information in here and I'm going to go, go over some of it with you so that you can know what you're looking at. It's going to let you know this is your Setup Complete, lets you know it's from us. Hello, your MyKW intranet is now up and running. Here are some usernames, passwords, and links to help you to use all of your KW technology tools to the fullest. And then there's going to be a link to this video right here that you're watching. And under that, we've got our login information for mykw.kw.com. That is the KW backend, the intranet, um, the KW homepage. We hear a lot of different names for it. That's the uh, MyKW system where you're going to log in and find your uh, KW website, your .loop, your eEdge database, uh, KW Connect. All of those things are within mykw.kw.com. We've recorded your username and your password here. Um, your username is going to be uh, have been assigned by the system when your account was created. It's usually in the format first initial, last name, and then maybe a number or two depending on how common your initial and last name are. Under that we've got your password. We're going to have changed that to your preferred password that you indicated on your setup um, questionnaire. If your preferred password either was too short or too long or doesn't meet the requirements for a password, we will set it as a generic password, something similar to this. Over to the right, we've got the link where you would log in using this login information, which is going to be mykw.kw.com. And then under that, we've got the link here for click here to learn how to use MyKW. That's going to take you to our MyKW Academy class. That's um, in two different formats. We have the one hour overview of this is what this is, this is what that is, just really quickly. And then we've also got the three hour in depth. Um, class where you're following along, click here, click there, this is how you do this, this is how you do that. So definitely check out our MyKW Academy right here. Under that we've got your KW email address which is going to be what you had indicated on your setup questionnaire. Um, if your email that you had requested either didn't meet requirements or was too short or too long, we'll typically set it as just first name last name at kw.com and then your preferred password again underneath that. To log into your KW email that's over on the right here, you're going to visit gmail.com. Your KW email is a Gmail address. It's just at kw.com rather than at gmail.com. Your KW email is not accessed within my KW. And then under that we've got another link that says click here to learn how to use your KW email. So that's how to log into Gmail, how to start a message, how to use BCC, all those fun things. Under that, we've got the link to your KW website, which will end in either .kw.com if you're in the United States or .kellerwilliamsrealty.ca if you're in Canada. Um, your website address will be indicated on your setup uh, questionnaire there, uh, and if you haven't indicated a preference there, it'll be based on your KW email. A lot of the time, this will say not available, and so if it does say not available, over to the right here, we've got this section that says if not available, click here for instructions to enable this site, and there's actually something that your office still needs to do in order for us to be able to set that site up for you, and there's instructions for how to do that right there. And then under that, if it is available, you can click here to learn how to edit your website. So if it's not available, you'll follow these instructions. Let us know once your office has done what they need to do. And then we'll set up the website separately and send you a separate email with the link to that site as well as instructions for how to access it. Under that, we've got our KW app code and app link. Your app code and your app link are unique to you. Everybody gets their own uh, KW app code so that people can download your branded KW app with your information, your picture, and leads will go to you. Over here to the right, there's a click here to learn how to use your KW app link. So we've got videos on how to use the KW app. And then under that, there is a notification here that it may take up to seven days from your join date of KW for the app to become active. That's for brand, brand new agents. So if you've been a member of KW for longer than seven days and you get an error message on this page, definitely let us know so that we can contact KW International Support 
report to help fix that up for you. Under that, we've got some new information here. This is for the Kelly app, K-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. We didn't um, get a misspelling there. That's actually how it's spelled, K-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Kelly is your uh, personal digital assistant from KW. That's uh, it's an AI system that's going to help you to work with contacts, work with referrals, lots of really fun stuff. And the app that you download on your phone, it's available both iOS and Android. And your login information here is the same as for my KW. We just recorded it again down here. And then over on the right, again, and we've got click here to learn how to use the Kelly app. Really simple there. Under that, we've got our dot loop username slash email. Your email address is your username for dot loop and then the password for that. And it indicates that you're going to log in at dot loop.com slash sign in. The preferred way is to go through my KW and click on the start my transaction link, but you can also log directly into dot loop.com as well. And if you're not familiar with what dot loop is, that's your paperless transaction system where you're going to have all your paperwork online, fill it out online, have clients sign online and submit it to be paid online. Really fun system there. And then under that, we've got click here to learn how to use Dotleap. So definitely check out our Dotleap classes there as well. Under that, we've got our Homekeeper username or email. Again, your email is your username for Homekeeper. And you would log in at pros.homekeeper.com on the web, or you can download the Homekeeper Pro app, excuse me, Homekeeper for Pros app and log in using this information as well. Homekeeper is a repeat and referral business uh, generator, basically. It's um, you put in your preferred vendors and people that download the app and answer some questions about their house. The app is going to generate a service schedule for their home, and it's going to recommend your preferred vendors to complete those services on their home. And the whole time, it's going to have your information, your picture, and everything right in front of them to keep you top of mind for that repeat and referral business. And again, we've got a click here to learn how to use Homekeeper, so definitely check that out. Under that, we've got your kw.com agent profile link. You have a profile on KW's website. This is not your website. Your website is up here. But you have a profile on KW's site, and you can edit that information uh, by clicking over here on the right to learn how. Um, that's going to have some basic information. It's not really fancy. It's not like your KW website. But if someone were searching for an agent on the KW site, this is what would come up. Under that, we've got the SLM website password. That's Scott Leroy Marketing. That's us. And to log into any of our services, uh, maybe some of the free support services or our templates or a complete adi an additional questionnaire, it's going to be your market center number that's the password for logging into our site. And we'll indicate that right here. And then over on the right, of course, we've got to click here to learn how to use our website, the Scott Leroy Marketing website link. Under that, we'll include some additional instructions down here if there are any. Usually this means um, we're waiting on either your biography or your picture to add to all of your profiles. If this section is blank, there's nothing left for you to do. Um, but if there are instructions down here, definitely get those over to us so that we can finish up your setup. And if you do need some help with your professional biography, over here at the right, you can click here. Oops. I didn't actually mean to click that. You can click over here for some biography tips on writing your biography. And then on certain market centers, there are some additional accounts that we create for agents and we'll include that login information down here as well. Underneath that, we've got our next step section. Definitely click out, uh, check out our 30 day challenge page uh, to get you started using your KW technology. We have challenges for the KW technology, challenges for your database, challenges for blogging, and then we're working on a challenge for search engine optimization for your website. So definitely check those out. Under that, check out our free training on the MyKW platform at slmwebinar.com. That's where we're going to have that MyKW Academy class recorded there. Under that, we've got the link to our free templates, including email signatures, and there's videos on those pages that let you know exactly how to use our free templates. Under that, we can click here to access our list of free to you marketing services that your market center is paying for through their subscription. So we can do a lot of things for you for free using your KW technology. Definitely check those out. And then under that, definitely join our Facebook group. We share lots of tips, lots of classes, lots of new news, uh, new templates, that kind of thing on our Facebook group. Underneath that, you definitely want to keep track of these support numbers. Here's KW International Supports information. That's um, KWRI. We are not KWRI. We're third party. So KW International can do some things that we can't do. Same for Market Leader or eEdge. We don't run the eEdge system. So Market Leader is the company that runs eEdge. So there's their support line. There's dot loop support. That's that paperless transaction system again. Here's Placester Support. That's the company that runs your KW website. And then again, we've got our support contact information down there. And then under here at the very bottom, um, we put these down at the very bottom on purpose here because this information is just for record keeping or potential paperwork purposes. You don't need to know these addresses. You don't have to write them down. You're not going to use them for any accounts. You're not going to uh, share these as your website. Your KW website and your KW email are up here at the top. 
All of these addresses down here you can ignore and pretend they don't exist. The only people that are going to need these are potentially us or your market center for some paperwork that might need to be submitted. If you have any questions about your setup complete email, feel free to shoot us an email at support at scottleroymarketing.com.